with 141 yards through the air on the night, hitting Henry Ellard 39 yards for the score. Tedford getting good protection from the offensive line with a fleet-footed Ellard doing the rest. What about that touchdown in the first quarter? You, you always make it look so damn easy. <laughs> well, you know, I try to take whatever they can give to him, you know, and uh, Jeff just uh, audible off to a 10-yard out. I ran it, you know, Bird, I just tried to overplay it, you know, try to get the ball, and he just made the mistake. I didn't get the ball, and the ball ended up in my arms. I just scattered for a touchdown. Has completed 25 passes for better than 300 yards, and he's got his Bulldogs with a first down at the Bowling Green 27-yard line. The blitz is coming. He throws quickly for Page, and he's in for the touchdown. Unbelievable! Stefan Page with his third third touchdown of the game, but you see him grabbing his right knee. And we'll wait and see if he is severely injured, but he's got three touchdowns. We know that. And with three minutes left, we've got an eight-point difference at the point after to come. It almost looks as if late two against Fresno State. It looks like it could be a hamstring or a gastric nemus in his calf. There's a throw. It was a post pattern. Look at the catch. Tony Graham takes a shot. Now, that's where he hurt his, hurt his leg, I believe. He doesn't seem to catch up with him until he finishes the play from another angle. You see the play right down the gut. He hits him. What a player. Fresno State over Oregon State. 37-yard punt by Pena. That was a great punt, kick it out of bounds in a four-yard line. Now the Bulldogs need a, a big play here to get them out from the shadows of their own goal. Back of Kevin Sweeney will be Lavelle Thomas and James Williams. From the four. Sweeney going long and deep for Stephen Baker. Baker's got the ball at the 40. It'll be a 96-yard <laughs> touchdown play. Kevin Sweeney to Stephen Baker, the touchdown maker. No, no flags, no flags. Oh, uh, you talk about the bomb. We've no. been waiting a game and a half for that. We've been talking about having Kevin go downfield. He's got a strong arm. That was a great pass and a great reset. Let's take another look at it. Baker, number 81, he runs a, a fly pattern, a streak pattern. He goes straight down the field. He just outruns the cornerback. A perfectly thrown pass. The defensive halfback fell down. Wouldn't have made any difference because he was Baker was beyond him anyway. 96 yards, the most spectacular bulldog play of the year. I'm a 15 yard I'm a 15-yard penalty. Second and 19 now for Fresno State from their own 25. The Bulldogs lead 16-9. Kevin has time to set up, and he goes to Taylor. This is going to be another Fresno State score. Touchdown, Gene Taylor, Fresno State. 75 yards. A couple of lightning bolt strikes. 96 yards by Kevin Sweeney. This one for 75 yards. And look at the celebration. To the right. Bouchel from the shotgun. He is hit as he throws. The pass is out there. And what a catch at the 28-yard line. The clock will run out. And that is the end of the first half. Tremendous catch by Ronnie Jenkins. Concentration again. It's a great throw, but Jenkins couldn't get out of bounds, so the clock expires. That is the 10th longest pass play in San Jose State history. That's a backbreaker because the Bulldogs have played so well defensively. They give up the lead on one play. There's the kickoff from Sergio Oliveres. Brock Smith, Anthony Williams, two burners are back. Anthony Williams from his five-yard line. Pardon me, Brock Smith. Number two, breaks it. 35, 40. Oliveira is the kicker, can stop him. He doesn't. And he breaks the tackle. He's going all the way. 20, 10. Brock Smith goes all the way for a touchdown. 95 yards. Jenkins, the two wide out, celebrate. We have played this whole football game with nothing happening, and then in 20 seconds, we have two scores. Well, you think they're waving towels now? Jim Sweeney's waving jerseys. 15 more on the personal foul in Fresno State with a first down at their own 45. 
They pick up the blitz. Barstoli wants to go deep. Alexander is there. Makes the catch. Touchdown! Barsotti finally finding the range. Number one, Andre Alexander. Now watch. Barsotti sets himself and lets her rip. And Alexander just runs past the cornerback, Paul Davis, falling down, trying to make the play. Football game. Barsotti, plenty of time, looking deep. He wants to go deep for the home run. Has the man out there. It is caught by Pickens, out of bounds. Fifty-two yards in pregame. We talked big plays in the game breaker, and that's the guy we highlighted. Watch 27, Leo Porter, not aware of where Dwight Pickens is. He thinks he's got an easy pick, just like a punt, but Dwight Pickens does a great job of going up and getting the ball. Leo Porter, that would that's one that he should have been able to defend, but a great athletic play by Dwight Pickens. Bulldogs need 17. Mark wants to go deep again, and the pass is caught by Shelley. He could go all the way. Stephen Shelley's to the 20. He is gone. Touchdown, Fresno State. from my statistician, Mike Sweeney, 90-yard touchdown pass from Mark Barsotti to Stephen Shelley. And Jim Sweeney had been telling us at the beginning of the year that that guy can be one of the great receivers in the Big West. The only problem, he has Dwight Pickens on the other side. Conference championship. And he's coming out from three yards deep. 30, and he's got a lot of room. Only Pendleton can catch him. He's inside the 15-yard line, Calvin Means. It's a wonderful play by Calvin Means. Uh, kind of quite a story there. He was a basketball player when we originally recruited him to come play football. Went to UC San Diego, didn't like it there, wanted to come back and get that context for it. And now he's playing football, performing at Fresno State, doing a great job. Well, younger players on uh, college football teams have to play special teams where they wait their turn. You see a lot of guys selling out. He had a great scene. Of course, he's got the speed to get around the corner, but you luck football pads for 87 yards. They start to get heavy down around the goal line. be the last play of the first half. Jamie Christian for Fresno State tries to lateral it, and he does. Sebron, Malcolm Sebron, no flags. Merry Christmas, Bulldogs. Do you believe it? The fade in the end zone. State may have just entered the big time. Gilford now feeling a lot of heat. Drawing it deep downfield for Jones. He's got it! Charlie Jones! Boy, what a great athletic play by not only Dilfer, but Charlie Jones. Fresno State in dire need of a huge play, and they get it from the two guys that have given them the big plays all night long, Trent Dilfer and Charlie Jones. Dilfer looks once. He looks twice. He looks three times. Nobody there. But the other thing the dog quarterbacks are taught to do is look long, medium, short, and long again if you have time. And Charlie Jones just barely got it on that play. Second down and 10. Will throw again. This time for Roberson. Pass complete. Gets out of one tackle across the 50. Inside the 45. Brian Roberson just amazing. Picking up extra yards. Hagen's in the Christian. 
They're not getting a lot of hits on David Carr. His offensive line is keeping him off of Another blitz. Carr with plenty of time. And right there, Rodney Wright, great speed, and he will go! Touchdown, Fresno State! 79 yards! You know, that's really borderline taunting, holding that ball out like that. Boy, I tell you, you know, third and six, though, you ask your one guy. It's not like they sent a lot of guys out. They did have great protection, as you mentioned a moment ago, and they, they kept they, the tight end in, but they just asked. They just asked Rodney Wright, you know, run it, just run Look it at in. Those hands, how close that is to getting knocked down. You have a center fielder in the safety position. He overruns the play a little bit, and then Rodney Wright, I told you, get, take this guy to training camp with you. Remaining in a scoreless first quarter. Carr will throw on first down, and again, he's going to look for Smith. Again, Smith is open. This time, he will jump it. Touchdown, Bulldogs. No flags. And redemption for Charles Smith. And what a perfect strike by quarterback David Carr. 46 yards, and you got to feel great for Charles Smith. Back home in San Jose, dropping a couple passes, dropping an earlier touchdown, and how sweet is that? And Carr put it right there. I mean, David Carr in this first quarter has performed absolutely perfectly. The rain that started towards the end of the first half has subsided once again. Second half is underway. And it is Bernard Carey out to the 25, the 30, the 40. He's got a one man to beat. He's got to be the speed. He's down the sideline. Forget it. Wow. So much for the fatigue that he felt with the catches and all the kick returns he had had up to this point. Great special teams on the part of Fresno State, just creating a chasm here. Take a look at Barry and look how things open up in the middle. Right as he's going to veer here, take a look at the blocking. Great job with the point of attack coming across Lyman. Great block there by number 31. That happens to be... Just scaring Baines, a reserve defensive back, and here Barrian gets to the sidelines, and as you pointed out, he shows some speed, 6'2", 190 pounds. Look at the two strides, beautiful. Just lined up as a fullback. They're trying to get a matchup where they can throw it downfield to that fullback. Oh, they'll throw out of the end zone. Kager will throw deep again for Paul Williams, who just makes the catch. That flag is on Boise as Williams stays in bounds, stays alive, and has one of the longest touchdowns in Fresno State history. 98 yards. the flag the official who threw it had to run down and follow the remainder of the play it looked like pass interference, pass interference. defense number 40 season. Aaron Perez, one of the best in Pac-10. On to punt. Marlon Moore. Got a seam. There he goes. Touchdown Fresno State. And a flag down at the 20-yard line. 63 yards to the end zone. The middle wide open. Touchdown. Chaston West. Randstater paid for it, but West to the end zone. 
And they made it look easy. Fifth penalty on Fresno State. Brand Stater going to go downfield, man, there! What a catch inside the five by Ajera Tutu. Down at the two-yard line. Boy, Ajera Tutu has great leaping ability. He's 6'3 and a big receiver at 210 pounds, junior out of El Dorado Hills, California, but he gets a nice outside release, but nothing on him. Jason McCourty, you got to at least get a bump on him, and he gets to the same. One. <laughs> Holborn to throw on first down. Going to go deep, as you guys said he might. Wiley is there. Inside the 20. Touchdown, Fresno State. You guys called that on the last drive, yeah. that that would be the adjustment, and there it was. Devin Smith got toasted. It's punch, counter punch, punch, counter punch. Wiley was the guy that brought fear into Brett Bielema. Take a look. First of all, there's a little double move, outside release, and it's just speed on speed. What happens is the corner looks back for the football, and Devin Smith, and as he looks back, Wiley just gains ground. Bob threw up the air ball, let him run under it. Go celebrate. Ball game right here. Six seconds to go. Fourth down, Fresno State. Colburn, Hamler reaches for the end zone. Touchdown! Oh. Isn't that the truth, Brooke? Well, it, it really is a very close relationship as we look at Hills. Sophomore quarterback. This time he goes deep and connects. Wow, Jalen Sanders was 40 yards shy coming into this game of being the seventh player in the history of Fresno State to go over 1,000 yards. And how's that for an exclamation point? 88 yards and a touchdown. There's a flag on the play at the very end, though, for celebration and sophomore to sophomore. Well, Derek Carr missed the big play. There was play. no on the play. Score the touchdown. It's physical between the tackles. Carr in rhythm, one on one. Adams makes his man miss and accelerates with a cutback. He's gone. Second touchdown for Adams. Touchdown, Fresno State. Jaden Boltwright had a shot one on one and couldn't bring him down, and it turned into a touchdown. Down. The ball. Uh, the guy is really a complete player. His arm is strong enough. Here comes a trick play. Is it a fumble, Ruski? Burst is free. Fumble, Ruski for a touchdown. Twenty seven yards and this has turned into a lot of fun for Fresno State at its senior day. Back to back 100 yard games. On the slant here's Harper split in the defense. Harper in a sprint with a stiff arm to the corner stays on his feet and scores. 100th career touchdown pass for Derek Carr. Knew that he, he was going to go somewhere other than Eastern Washington, but now he gets to coach him here. McMarion, play action, going to go deep. That's Johnson, and he's got it! And Johnson to the 10. Johnson dives. He scores! Touchdown, Fresno State! No, mm, going to be short and going to be returned. Hold on just a second. I see a lot of red down here. He's and gone. I don't think anybody is going to catch Jameer Jordan. He gets a block. 108 Whoa. yards. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Why not?
No flags that I can see. Watch the wave of red to the left of your screen. So oh, long. look at those guys. They're just waiting to pick off That's anybody. A fence. <laughs> Spectacular finish to Fresno. It's hard to be original these days <laughs> with stuff like this. It's tough. I saw one the other day of a guy dunking a basketball on the sideline. <laughs> Hater. Over the middle. It's a big gainer for Cropper. Goodbye. Touchdown. His second of the day. Strong. It looked the sharpest at quarterback in the league this year. Rivers to the sideline. Jordan Mims to pass block. Picks up. Teddy nicely. And that one dropped into Kelly's bread basket. Touchdown. Pushes up. Boom, right there. A good pump fake by Jake Hayner as well. And he puts that ball in a perfect location because Shaq Vaughn does a nice job getting over there to help. And that ball